is a super nutritious green vegetable to get into our food plan. It actually contains a component called inulin, which is a prebiotic fiber. It's a fiber that goes undigested until it reaches our colon, where there, the healthy gut bacteria help it to produce more healthy gut bacteria. So when we say prebiotics, it's food for the healthy bacteria. Really easy to make. One thing I want to tell you in your preparation of asparagus, I have here a bunch of asparagus that I simply washed, and you want to make sure you remove the woody ends on it. And the easiest way to do it is if you take your asparagus and you give it a little bend, it automatically bends kind of where that woody part is. So it kind of tells you, the asparagus that is, tells you where it needs to be broke off. All right, so that's it for preparation. All you have to do is take those woody ends off and then I bring the asparagus over to a pan that I have heating with about a half a tablespoon of coconut oil. Uh, organic coconut oil, there's lots of varieties you can get out there. And I just kind of want to place them in there so they're all a little bit, you know, evenly distributed. I'm going to turn that heat down just a little bit. The pan's getting pretty hot here. So we're just going to leave those to cook. And what you're going to do is turn these every couple of minutes. Asparagus, when they're done, will have a bright green color. They shouldn't have that slimy green color and they shouldn't droop like a rope. And we're going to add some tasty yummies to our asparagus. So a million ways you can season your asparagus up or add some flavor profile. The thing I usually like to do is add a little garlic to it. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside and I'm not going to put it in just yet. And the reason is there's an active compound in garlic that activates if you let it sit for a second. So we're gonna do that. And then this dish here, this, this asparagus, I'm gonna call it basil asparagus because basil would be one of the stars. Um, basil to your preference. And then the two um, spices I'm gonna to use today are, well, the spiced paprika, and then I'm gonna add some onion powder. for about five minutes now and the color on them is getting brighter so what they look like when they went in it's now even brighter so that's my cue that they're getting cooked and I'm gonna give these guys a couple more minutes and be before I am done cooking them now a couple minutes at the end I'm gonna grab that garlic and basil and put that in and you're just gonna sprinkle that all over Keep cooking them, they're gonna get more on the mushroom side and overcooked. Anyone coming to your house for dinner would absolutely love this. It looks gorgeous, it's great for our health, it's an easy way. Again, how long did that take? Less than 15 minutes to make a wonderful side dish. Let's pop a little sea salt on there, a little bit of pepper to finish it off. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. I have asparagus about once a week. I love this vegetable. When you find out how easy it is to make, I'm sure you're gonna be enjoying it. Bon appetit.